Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. A ton of people ask me, what are the coolest morphs I'm gonna produce this year in ball pythons? I tell you what, we're gonna spend some time this week looking at the cool things we produced last year and some of the neat pairings we're gonna do this year. You're watching Snake Bites. You guys know me as Brian Barcheck, the snake breeder during the day, but the truth is, is after 20 years of breeding snakes and making combos, I like to tinker a little bit in my secret lair. Take for instance my crew members, I'm always looking for the perfect guy, but there's always faults with all of them. For instance, Chewy is great at raising baby snakes, but his hygiene is horrible. And Kel, he's great at baby ball pythons, but he is such an instigator. All right, Brian, quick shut, up. Up. shut up in there. So we're gonna see if we can combine them together and see if we can get the perfect crew member. Keep your mouth shut. Help! Help! So I think it's time to take what we have and make the perfect combo crew member. Kel and Chewy. Chewy and George. George and Kearney. Kearney and Scar. Scar and Kel. Scar and Chewy. Scar and George. Kel and Kearney. And now for the super combo. All of them together. Whether you breed snakes as a hobby or as a profession like me, we're all shooting for the same thing, to produce that incredible animal. What we have is a philosophy of three tiers of snakes here. We like to produce the base morphs, which are essentially like your spiders, pinstripes, pastel, stuff that's relatively easy to produce. Then we like the second tier, which is a little more difficult. Maybe your one in four shot, stuff like bumblebees, lemon blast, so on like that. And then we take the long shot, which is the real gem. And that's to produce the one of a kind animal. That might be a one in 16 or even longer than that. We're gonna go ahead and look at some of the achievements we've made here and the stuff we're looking to do this year. These were some of the highlights from the 2008 breeding season. This is a super ghost Mojave bred to a ghost to produce the very first ghost Postavi. Womer Lesser to Pinstripes. Produce Woma Lesser Pins. Cinnamon Pastel to Woma Ball for Cine Womas. Pastel Ghost to Cinnamon Pet Ghost for Ghost Pewters. Cinnamon to Enchi for Enchi Cinnamon. Woma Ball to Pinstripe for Woma Pin. Pastel Yellow Belly to Super Stripe to produce Pastel Super Stripe. Pewter to Woma for Pewter Woma. Pewter to Champagne for Pewter Pain. Pieball to a pinstripe pet pied for a pin pied. Black opal to black opal spider for gold dust spiders. There was some of our 2008 successful production. Let's hope 2009 is as good to us. These are some of the things we're really excited about.
your tip of the week, the two problems that we encounter in cold climates like we live in while keeping reptiles are low humidity and cold temperatures. A way to get around that is to take some styrofoam or a towel and just cover up the grate a little bit on your aquarium or your rack like we do here. It'll keep the heat in as well as the humidity. Make sure to stay tuned for future tips of the week. Alright guys, it's Cal's question of the week. Obviously, we're in a worldwide recession. I want to know what you guys think about the government bailing us out. Should they help us? Should they leave it alone, let it run its course? Are they helping us? Are they hurting us? And who's responsible for this? Are they responsible in the first place? Also, it was NHL trade deadline last week. If you're a huge hockey fan like me, you took that day off work. I mean, I was kind of expecting a lot more. But I want to know from you guys what you think the most significant trade or free agent signing is. Text or video comment below. Let me know. So there it is, some of the cool ball python morphs that we're excited about trying to produce this year. And you guys know that I kept a few things secret. We have to surprise you guys with something, right? For our viewers in the United States, it's extremely important that you check out pjack.org and become a member. These guys are fighting for our rights as reptile hobbyists. We want to stand behind these guys. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.